So a couple of years ago, Adidas released a shoe that is illegal to pro athletes because its stack height is a crazy 50 millimeters thick. And recently they released the second version of the shoe that still keeps that crazy stack height of 50 millimeters, but makes a lot of other changes. I've been doing quite a few runs in the Primex 2 Strung over the past few months, and I'm ready to give you my review. Just a quick disclaimer that I am an ambassador for Running Warehouse, and they did send these shoes to me, but all my thoughts and opinions are my own. Anyways, let's go ahead and dive into the review. First up, we're going to take a look at this upper. The Primex 1 came in a regular cellar mesh and a Strung version, but the Primex 2 is going straight to the Strung upper. This was my first time trying a strung upper, but I enjoyed it. It was a bit stiff around the toes at first, but it loosened up. It's one piece, but the tongue uses a stretchy knitted material instead of the silly string looking material. This makes it easier to get the shoe on and off, but I do wish there was a little bit of padding to help prevent lace bite, which is when the laces dig into your ankle. Especially if you have it tied on pretty tight, the top two eyelets can be noticeable as well. One thing I did like though was that they fixed the size. On the original Primex, I had a size 13 and it still fit snug. And the Primex 2 Strung, I went true to size in a size 12 and I thought it fit perfectly. Now let's talk about this midsole here and there is a lot to talk about. Like I mentioned, this midsole is thick. It's 50 millimeters in the heel, 43 in the forefoot with a 7 millimeter drop. This makes the forefoot thicker than most of the heels of Super Shoes. This midsole also has some crazy tech packed into it. It features a top layer of Light Strike Pro, then a full length carbon fiber top plate. Under that is a puck of Light Strike Pro foam in the forefoot that is designed to be able to compress and bounce back better than just the standard Light Strike Pro foam. And underneath that puck is a three quarter length carbon infused plate. Then there is the final layer of Light Strike Pro. That's a lot of tech <laughs> in one shoe, but the purpose of these dual layer plates are to really compress that puck of foam and give you a really springy energetic explosion. I'll talk about whether I agree with that or not when I talk about the ride, but let's go ahead and talk about the outsole first. The outsole has a little bit of durable and grippy continental rubber in the forefoot slash toe area, while the rest of the coverage is textile rubber, which is thin but does have a pretty good grip to it. All right, now let's talk about the ride of this shoe. So like I mentioned, there's a lot to it. It has that super thick midsole and packing all this stuff in there does come at a cost and that is weight. This shoe is 10.8 ounces in a men's size nine, which is like two ounces heavier than a lot of super shoes on the market today. So when trying out this shoe, I kind of started out on an easy recovery day for my first run, just to you know see how all this foam performed on that type of run. And honestly, when I was going out the slower paces, I thought that this shoe was pretty firm and I definitely noticed the weight to it a lot. I'm not sure if it's because I'm a string bean and I just don't have enough mass underneath me to really compress it and get that bounce. But yeah, just not my go-to recovery shoe here. However, that did change when I started to pick up this pace in the shoe. When I was doing fartleks and marathon workouts in it, I was really compressing that forefoot more up on my toes. I was getting that aggressive rocker and I was able to compress that foam a lot better and actually feel that bounce back and that explosion off the toe. And the weight started to disappear a little bit. It did still feel bottom heavy, but again, at those faster paces, it was less noticeable. And I think that is key here. The shoe really comes alive when you're picking up the pace. That being said, no matter what pace I was running at, I did notice that this shoe felt a lot more stable than the first version. I think a mixture of one being maybe a little firmer, but also just kind of the platform, they don't have that cut out there. And that was a plus in my eyes. So now when I want a super shoe or super trainer, whatever category you want to put this one in, I prefer if it's more versatile, especially for a super trainer. And I don't think this shoe is very versatile for me personally. Like I said, at easy days, recovery runs, even kind of everyday pace, I found it to be too firm and too heavy. However, when I did pick up the pace, when I was going at least moderate pace, I think it started to really come alive. 
However, even when I was doing it at, you know, marathon, half marathon race pace, I liked it then. But if I'm trying to do like a 5k pace workout on the track, then there's just too much underfoot for me. So I think there is kind of that little window of paces and distances that this shoe worked for for me. I think on long runs, I'm not going to do a long slow run in it, but I will do a long progression run or a long tempo run in it. So overall, I think that the Primex 2 Strung is a great shoe that's pushing the envelope on running tech. However, I thought that the shoe only really came alive at a very slim window of paces. And for me, I'm not paying $300 for a niche shoe that's only going to, you know, work out for a couple of runs for me. I want it something that's going to be very versatile. Again, this is just me and my experience. I know a lot of runners with a little more meat on their bones than I do, and they're able to compress this foam better, and they really enjoy using this shoe for all types of runs. So I think your mileage will vary depending on you and your preferences. So because of all that, I'm giving this shoe a slow, which means slow down and think about how you want to use this shoe. If you're somebody who kind of likes being able to compress a shoe and not bottoming out or if you're somebody that really wants to use it for a small specific set of workouts then maybe you'll like it but just also consider that price as well so i want to hear from you have you tried the prime x2 strung are you going to pick one up do you have the same thoughts as me do they differ let me know in the comments down below thanks for watching and as always keep on running